All right, it's time we had a talk about warmers playing guitars. Now, they're not usually ones that you find in your top tens, you know, but here's the thing. I think that, you know, we, we've kind of, you know, expected too much of them. Now, one thing that I will have to say that not all, but a lot of women on average tend to not have the longest fingers or biggest hands. You know, like, I'm, I don't have, now, I, that has nothing to do with the size of your dick, because my, mine's bigger than it needs to be. It really is, considerably larger than it should be. But my hands are still rather, you know, modest. So, yeah, that whole analogy, I don't know what that's all about. Oh, trust me. Oh, women talk about me. It's okay. I'm not worried. Um, I mean, it's a good thing. So that, why, why, do you, why do you think it is they fucking stuck me, huh? Eh. I know where the good shit is, that's for sure. Um, let's put it to the challenge here. I ain't hide nothing. All right, my middle finger is, and this is a very important finger for playing guitar, right? Let's see how long. Now I'm gonna start right there at that spot, because that's as far as I can get it in there anyway. Well, you know what I mean? This is for for reference, you know. All right, right there. Make sure, because we want to, you know, it, it, we, we want to get as accurate. That's why I'm going to start with that middle one. It's the longest one, too. So we're starting right about there. Okay. That is roughly. What is that? 77.1. It, it keeps reflecting real bad. Or, three, all right, three, three, one, three. All right. Now, I'm watching this Joe Bonas video. You know, Miss Smoke's always got really good ones of him. And it's especially really good one where he does with, it's Joe Bonamas, Richie Sambora, and Orianthi. And the thing is, is a lot of times, the reason why a lot of a lot of women, you know, it's kind of hard to get them up on that list is simply because of the fact that they're not going to be able to do everything. There, you have to be a freak of nature to be able to do. Like, you know, people like Steve Vai have those long, thin fingers. I got these short little fuckers. That's why I love Gibson scale. I love the sound of Strats, but I play much better on a Gibson scale. Where it's a little bit flatter radius, a little it's three quarters of an inch shorter in a scale. Part and I was like, was that Rich? Was that Richie or was that Orianti playing that, that line? She had a little spot there of her own. Okay.
right, look. I can't do it in her particular voicing, but I can show you what she's essentially doing. <coughs> See, I don't have real long hands. You know, she's playing a PRS, which is, is it, isn't it a 25? It says a half inch short, so it's a little closer to a, a Gibson. And if they're like all the other PRS, the, the regular PRS, not the John Mayer shit. Uh, although he does have a regular PRS 24 fret that he plays with the Grateful Dead. He may have a 22 fret, but I think essentially that's like his wolf guitar. That's his own version of like Peter Garcia's wolf. That He has like two guitars that will cover every fucking thing he needs to do with them. I think now whenever he's not playing with the dead, Whenever he plays his own shit, he only plays a Silver Sky. I think when he was with the Dead, he only plays those ex insanely expensive, custom-made uh, ones just for him. Now, those are going in B. She's doing this thing where she's doing... It's kind of hard without having to like open shit up and it gets too loud. Hold on, let me, let me crank the pre and turn down the post. Turn it up just a slight. It's at B. Well, it's going. Now, BB plays most of it either like. It's, it's like every BB King song. <laughs> he just changes the keys. It's just little slight variations. The same fucking shit. It's the same shit. When it moves up here, because it because the way the tuning goes. So it does like it come down here. how most blues you know guitar playing goes and we'll do this in B since B has got a good range you know in the screen so that I can like keep it where it all kind of stays relatively close together we can do it in C whichever that matter but you see it probably needs to be tuned as well This is my favorite Gibson scale guitar, so. Very close. Oh, wait a minute. You dumbass. Thing is, she's actually doing a really good job when it comes to, you know, her 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 new expression, you know, like that's not really the bark of someone who's you know musically talented on guitar. And she yeah, you know, she does have her own voicing.
And I always want to play in the minor, although he really just... But here's the thing. Matt is a really good rhythm, rhythm me. People who are good at mixing together rhythm and lead, you know, and creating a, a, a nice combination of good rhythm sound, but with, you know, a lot of good, you know, um, biting leads is that they kind of be more what you call like a box player. I say, especially what Eric Clapton is. He's just a really, really good. And he's, and he's he, he can mix it enough between major and minor pentatonic boxes. See, it's kind of like, okay, let's do something that's, beat works good for this for right now. Actually, you know what? Thing is cocaine just slightly different. But here's the thing. Now the play on that B, you could do. You know, you could do the standard major pentatonic. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he doesn't really use that extended box down here. Or, all over on the But here's the thing. You know, it's the root notes. Just like... When Gary Moore plays with him, he does that in the background when you know, he does that little fill where he does, you know, it's, it's actually, it's kind of a cleaner sound, that's for sure. Um, trill in there. I can't remember which one. I'm not sure if it's if it's a half a half note or a full note. Because like when Jimmy does it, he does it. Wait a minute. Is he doing the um? Here's the thing. Most of it's a box. 
You know, it's kind of like when he's playing. Because uh... he does it on that one too. He does it on the. about he's actually doing a cover but then he also has a part in that that is very similar except for that's actually in a but he plays it in uh b minor relative a major blue John Mayer plays um, uh, that new song. Yeah, uh, what is it? that right here uh, I want to say he ties it together like you would would it, if it was the uh, a minor pentatonic blues where you're playing it in pentatonic form but you're actually playing in E major you're not actually playing what would it be uh, C sharp B flat or D flat D flat or C sharp and I think the other day I was trying to play um, I was thinking it was in D. I didn't take into account that he's actually not playing it in D. He's playing it in D flat because he's two and a half step down. It looks like he's playing it in D. And for people like me, it's hard for me to tell the difference. So he's really playing it here, and I was playing it here, but then when I switched to a guitar, played it in the same position, it actually was. It was like, okay, so if I was going to play on play out Alan Albert Collins on this one. But usually if I'm going to play that box blue style cheater uh, chord, um, what I'm going to do is, is like, okay, this is where D would be. players they like to play e they like to play e minor a lot especially to, to do a lead down here on e minor but i'm also thinking okay but is that all could it also be, be major blue it's like uh, albert king when he plays uh sky's crying you know Some shit like that, but he's also what that. And just like when Steve Ravon plays Texas Flood, he's playing that C major blues, but he's playing in a box form. So for years, I thought it was G major blues. It's not, it's actually C major blues because G major blues, C major blues do kind of overlap. That would be C major blues. But you see, here's G minor. 
G major, here's G major blues, but on the um, C, C, or on the A minor. Well, usually what you're looking for in certain types of songs where uh, uh, they pretty much play in the same basic key, but they play in different boxes and then in all. You know, alternative forms like you know you know most things go in some sort of 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 uh uh either you go up down up one or down one or across and up and like it's like that would be a one five two five one you see I just look at it as Wherever you are on the guitar, that's your one position. That's your one, that's your four, that's your five. That's your one, that's your four, that's your five. Depends on whether your root key or your, you know, your your first one over here is a G. I would say that's just that's just G. G one four five, A one four five. Because if you look at it, if you if you line up all the letters and go, you're always going starting off at your first chord and then going to the fourth chord from that first chord and then going to that fifth chord. Well, actually, here it'd be there because I, I put the wrong spot. That's one, four, five, right? Well, there's a lot of songs that are, you know, where it's like, you know, uh, what would that be? That'd be four, four and a half, five, two, two, one, two. look at it as I'm just trying to get some sort of melody some sort of organized arrangement of melody you know, between and in that song you could pretty much play it any way that's what's great about this type of blues song There's a lot of open, you know, shit in blues. A lot of people do a lot of weird shit that people never seem to get bothered by for guitar players because it throws an oddity in a pattern they don't seem to understand. I've seen a lot of that where it's kind of like you would think, okay, well, that's in B, right? But you may see, you may have that one once in a while where they may decide to. Instead of, you know, doing that where. Maybe adding that into, you know, or wait a minute. They may decide instead of doing that. You know they're supposed to be. The key, though, in playing the blues is keep the rhythm and then to get yourself from whatever it is your root, root key your your root key note at B to that B and it doesn't matter if it's a half step up step down unless you're actually playing with other people or whatever see I, I'll learn how to play see when I pick up a guitar that's two and a half step down I'm still gonna play in the B position unless I'm playing along with the TV or I'm playing along with other people then I'll just make sure I grab one that is tuned right or I'll tune that one right but I just learned the position. I learned the position play. And I go, wait a minute, you know what? I am half a step off. And then there's a lot of bands that record in E standard, but then play live in E flat because of the fact that they don't want to have to lug around heavy Les Pauls. So they go with flatter, much flatter radius, super strat type guitars that have a real thick sounding tone, even though it has a slightly larger scale, it holds tune a shitload better. You know, and it'll play really fast, 
you know, but, um, you know, I don't know. It, it's also a little, a little you know, it's, kind of, it's, like, you know, it's compromising. You see, because I got small hands, that's why I do like these guitars. That's why I play the way that I do. It's like, you know, Billy Gibbons, I don't think he has small hands, but he's got a lot to work with. Or like, um... Damn, that's hard. That went quick. Must have really got on it, motherfucker. The only, only oddity in that to me is the the wait a minute, I have to start. That's the only oddity in it is that little He's like, he added in that, my, that. I never play that form. I never practiced that. I practiced this. And sometimes I practice the uh, major. But the other one, that's so fucking foreign to me now. And I'm in my 40s, and I'm like, fuck, I never really learned that proper form, you know. So there's sometimes these little weird notes in there, but I've just said, fuck it, I'm just going to take the Angus Young approach. I'm just going to force shit that don't fit whether they like it or not. So I'll play B major blues. That's that note I'm looking for. That note right here. This one, it's calling for this one. Now sometimes I would go up there and just hit that one, hit that one, that one B right there. But usually I just kind of stick her right. This is what. I, sometimes I just kind of like to say fuck it and just slide down into that that uh. Yeah. Uh, three notes per string. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the case is. All I know is is that I try to get between. Those two notes are the, are the notes I'm trying to string together, usually. Sometimes it's these two, you know, like maybe it's these two I'm trying to string together. Once in a blue moon, it's these two. Sometimes it's weird shit, like, um, um, what would be another one? Uh... Because there'd be, be up here. It's just kind of like what box blues is. And it's always kind of a mixing and... You might pass it off to someone else. And then they may move up to... And then play, start playing the B minor. And then when they pass it back to you, you may say... That's why that's why blues is so universal. And it's nice to see that, you know, even you know, like 
it's great for guys with small hands because we can kind of cheat when it's blues because blues really is about feel and rhythm, you know. It's like when 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 guitarists make fun of guitarists who quote unquote they, they'll like mock them. I play by feel it means I don't know how to play. It's like yeah. We don't need to know how to play. You need to know how to play. We have natural musical ability. You don't. You have to learn how to play. Ha ha. I don't know how to play guitar, but you know what? I know how to make fucking music. So the bitch and whine about people having natural fucking ability or talent. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak your language. Do you not know the key of go fuck yourself? I know that one. Right here. Hopefully I'm making friends in the guitar community. Hey, some of them guys are cool as shit, like Josh Scott or Jay Chappell. I love those guys. Those fucking guys are awesome. <laughs> great show, great show. I love all shit from them. All right, y'all have fun. I just want to talk about that. You know, it's kind of like, I think the reason why a lot, a lot of ladies don't get a lot of love on, you know, the guitar thing is because, well, the, yeah, they, they're not going to be able to do all that, sn that, that, that snobby shit. But look at Oriana. She could play with real blues feel. So I say, I say you know, maybe she, she get a, a little bit more, you know, praise or love. There's some other ones I'll talk about. Like that that lady from from Heart is a motherfucker. Oh, that bitch got played me all day long. Oh yeah, she she horribly embarrassed me. I know that. You know, just saying. Oh yeah. <laughs>